Hey guys, welcome. If this is your first time here, this is Moments with Mo. I'm Mo. I'm your Cosmic Warrior King here with another message for you. I want to take the time to say thank you to all the new subscribers, all the support, all my returning, all my day ones. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. <sighs> guys, let's dive right into this, okay? So, you know, I'm shuffling and normally I don't take, <laughs> I normally don't take the cards. If cards do show themselves, I normally don't take it. I might peek at it to see what spirit is like, message of spirit is like hinting at. Um, and the first card that jumped out was the Hierophant card, right? So I'm like, okay, like, okay, so... This can be in a matter of, you know, when I, I, I picked up on love, okay? I picked up on love. But I was like, all right, put it back in. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The first card to hop out is, <laughs> the second card to hop out, you could say, is the Ten of Cups. So I'm like, oh, this is definitely about love. Okay? So whoever I'm picking up on, when it comes to a matter of love you have always felt disappointed you have always felt like you had to either walk away or abandon um a situation with someone when it comes to the romantic side of things um it's just feeling very much like you're always disappointed, okay? You're always disappointed when it comes to love. And this can be, you know, for a very... I'm, I'm picking up for somebody, this has been like a very long time of you being in a cycle where, uh, you know, you really do crave and desire. Whoever I'm speaking to and connecting to, you desire to be in union um, with a divine soulmate, with your divine counterpart. And, you know, we have many soulmates and depending on where people are in their evolutionary journey and their healing journey, um, we come across these soulmates and, you know, there's lessons there that take place, whether or not those or you are open to receive, you know, the love that is being offered. OK, take it how you take it, apply it how you apply it. OK, but. It seemed like somebody, when it comes to a matter of love, there has always been disappointment. There's always been heartbreak. There's always been you walking away or feeling like somebody is, I'm hearing almost forcing your hand to walk away. It's almost like you find yourself in situations where you have to choose your peace over, over like, Someone's illusion, someone's games, okay? Someone's, you know, bread come crumbing energy. Uh, someone that is like disconnected, okay? You find yourself always having to look inward and reflecting. Um, with this, you you're reflecting, okay? With this four cups, you're you're like, how did this come to be? You know, like how did I get in this situation? Why am I always in a situation? Why am I always connected to somebody that betrays me, okay? Or that is plotting against me or, you know, they're deceptive. They're uh, emotional manipulators. They're sneaky, okay? Whoever I'm picking up on as well, in the past or... Very much, yeah, I'm feeling like in the past. Because Spirit is, is saying that something is being illuminated, okay? Um, but you have people here that it's hidden, but they're collaborating against you. Teamwork, collaboration, learning, okay? Building something. Building something to move against you in some way, okay? These people... This is hidden from you or was hidden from you or they were trying to do this behind your back. Okay. 
Um, and this is where that betrayal energy comes in. Because when it comes to a matter of finances also, I'm hearing these people were um, affecting your finances in some way, shape, or form. Plotting to move against you. Plotting to move against your, your finances. There's, you know, spirit is acknowledging also your, your strength. Okay. You have had great strengths um, with when it comes to the matter of, you know, the heart, heartbreak, heartache. Okay. This is why this four of swords is here because spirit is saying, you know, this is your time of rest and renewal. Okay. This is just as you get to relax, you get to, I'm hearing like when it comes to a matter of love, of, you know, if you have been someone who has been, again, yearning to be with your, your soulmate spirit is just advising you and telling you that you can relax, you can rest, rest assured that justice is on your side, that truth and clarity is bringing things into balance, okay? Spirit is saying this is a new phase of your life you're coming into, okay? This is a new phase of life you're coming into. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh. Wow, yes, because look who you are. Look at who you are. You are the star, sweetie. You are the star, okay? This is why Spirit says to rest, renewal again. They're very tight. Like, you're in a space of, you're getting your wishes fulfilled. With this Ten of Cups energy here, when it comes to a matter of love, this is why they're telling you to rest. Like, they they telling you to rest. Rest assured. I'm hearing rest assured. Rest assured. What is this? Yes, King of Wands energy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you're a natural leader. You're a natural leader who had to overcome a lot of challenges, especially when it comes to a matter of, um, when it comes to a matter of love, for sure, with this three of hearts here, three, I me, mean, three of swords here in reverse, okay? You definitely had, so someone in the past or someone that you were connected to definitely betrayed you here i'm seeing they were plotting and moving against you behind your back with the moon card here okay because you are the star you have good fortune you're someone very spiritual you're very tapped in okay you're someone that's destined for for this great love for um fulfillment and not only when it comes to love but like career um they're giving me like they're showing me the world and my head is like swirling. Like something is moving. Something is like you, 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 you mix up, you stir up the pot. Okay. I hope that makes sense in the spiritual realm on this, this, this plane, um, in a good way. Okay. Again, you are someone that is, you could be an entrepreneur. Like you had people who were collaborating to move against you when it comes to a matter of your career, okay? Because it's right next to the betrayal, and this is hidden from you, but your angels and guys are on this, okay? Wow, we have the Ace of Cups here. See, when it comes to a matter of love, see, you're someone, the, the universe is gifting you this. This is a wish fulfillment for you, okay? With this Ten of Cups here, and then Ace of Cups energy. So Spirit is offering you, you're about to be offered um, your divine love, your divine soulmate, your union. Spirit definitely know what you have been through. And Spirit is saying, this is justice. And this is judgment. This is your time. Okay, look, with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck cannot make it up. Okay, this is new love coming in. Okay, Spirit says, yes, this is true. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, what message and messages for the cook? Woo, child. They are flying off the shelves. Look at this. Look. Wow. Okay. Whew. Hold on. Yeah. Somebody wanted you. See, look at this. Somebody wanted you to be bound to them. Somebody wanted you to be in a space where you were having conflict. You were fighting. Again, 
exhausted, um, just not wanting to pursue. I'm here not wanting to shine, not wanting to pursue your goals, your dreams, actually wanting you to be in a state where you maybe felt lazy or lethargic, okay? Um, because there's something when it comes to the matter of your career here that leads to this Ten of Cups energy. So it's like, keep this person from being in their entrepreneur state. Keep them from being in this sun energy because you are showing up as the sun and the star here, okay? So to keep you in this state, so you are not here being in this Ten of Cups energy, um, they really wanted you to be bound. They wanted you to be in your shadow, okay? Somebody wanted you to be overwhelmed. Um, it's a lot of like, if you look right here, is there's a lot of dense, low vibrational energy here. You got disconnected energy. You have this betrayal. You have people plotting, working, okay, against you. This is you having the heartbreak and heartache and having to forgive these people. So you may know this per person or people, okay, that you had to forgive and move, you know, move on and release and heal to allow spirit to bring this 10 of cups energy into your life. Because some of you is like, again, I'm hearing just a lot of Somebody wants you to in war and battle, okay? Somebody wants you to be in war and battle. Again, whether it's with yourself with the devil card here or with someone else, they wanted you to be wrapped up in karmic situations so you miss this Ten of Cups opportunity. And this Ten of Cups opportunity definitely is, is I'm hearing, it's meant to be. It's, it's, it's destined to be. Um, it's like your destiny to, to come into union with this person, Look, see, but you're balanced. Spirit is helping you remain balanced during this time. Remain in a place of, of like staying in your purpose, being patient. See, somebody didn't want this for you. Somebody wanted you out of balance. Somebody wanted you with this devil here. Okay, with this devil here and this seven of wands energy and this three of swords energy, somebody definitely um, wanted you to be in a space where you were just at, at war. Okay, Bal unbalancement, things have to rebalance themselves out. And it's definitely giving with the betrayal here that there were people plotting, being deceptive against you. Um, but you're showing up as this ambitious, you know, career driven king of wands energy and just looking forward you always you look forward Th this bothers those people okay yeah because people wanted you to be in this indecisive they didn't want your mind to be made up they didn't want your head to be clear they wanted you under these spells of illusion okay so definitely have spells of illusion here okay we're going to dive a little deeper into this Holy Spirit, angels and guys, what message or messages for the collective? What do they need to know? Wow, right from the rip. <laughs> Secret coven. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. <laughs> I literally cannot make it up. You can't make it up, y'all. You have it right here. Okay, these people are over here plotting against you. Plotting and moving against you to cause you heartache, to cause you stagnation. They made a pact to move against you. Some of them, again, you might know this person because betrayal is here. So somebody that you know personally betrayed you, betrayed you with the, the secret covenant or what they're doing with these people or connected to these people in some way, somehow, for real. And it's hidden from you with this moon card here. It's hidden that these people are here moving against you. You, the star, the sun, Okay, you're someone who, who loves and vibrates from a place of love. This secret covenant is not wanting you to be in your purpose, wanting you to be in your destiny, shining your light, your positivity, your happiness. They want you celebrating. They, they, they just wanted you to feel 
lost, okay? He wanted you to feel lost. Okay, you have this person is a stranger. Sorry to this man. So again, these are secret, look, secret covenant. These are people that you don't even know, okay? These are people that you don't even know that are some way connected to you, okay? You have ocean here, okay? So some of these people can be overseas. Some of these people can be overseas. I am picking up on re uh, remote viewing energy, okay? Spirit's putting that head in the front of my head is like, uh, pressure in the front of my head. Look, there's something about your DNA. There's something about your DNA that the secret covenant is, is I'm hearing obsessed with. Okay. They're obsessed. You have mother figure here. Okay. So this can be someone's, again, this doesn't have to be your mother, but this can be someone that you looked at as a mother or played a role as a mother figure in your life. Okay. This person is a friend. See, so you have maybe this friend of yours is connected to these strangers that you don't know that is part of this secret covenant. And, you know, some way, somehow they're moving against you for whatever reason that is. We we're going to get dive into that. You tell me about the curses I put on you. See, you can't make this can't make it up. You can't make it up. You tell me about the curses I put on you. This portrayal is here. Okay, this betrayal is here. Okay, look at this person running off. Running off, being sneaky behind your back. Doing this moon magic behind your back. Doing love rituals behind your back. Doing rituals to affect your finances. This is sick, truly. And it's sad. Okay, it's sad because it's like I'm hearing that you, you, ain't, you ain't do nothing that called for this, okay? It says cut, clear, and delete. Okay, so you might have cut, cleared, and deleted these people, okay, out of your life. Because spirit is definitely here with bringing this temperance, this re this rebalancement into your life. So again, remember, there was a lot of energy of you having to walk away, turn your back on people, um, but your heart always remaining open. So you're definitely someone whose heart chakra is very open, is very... Uh, very, very open, even though all the things that you experience, one one might see why a heart might be closed off after experiencing what you have experienced, but your heart spirit says remained open, remained pure. Um, this is why you're receiving this justice and this judgment. You have a lot of major arcana cards here, okay? You have the justice, you have the judgment, the star, the sun, temperance, okay, the devil energy. There's definitely a lot of of uh major events taking place in your life look at the bottom of the deck i told y'all i can't and yo look oh my gosh look y'all this is part of a prophecy i told you i'm telling you spirit was saying like you're, you're destined to be with this Ten of Cups energy. In this Ten of Cups energy with your divine soulmate, with your divine partner, living your best life, okay? When it comes to a matter of family, family and career, everything, like, it's yours. You're happy, you're fulfilled, dreams come true, okay? You are the sun. You're showing up as the sun. You're meant to shine. This is why this secret covenant here is moving against you because you... Are a part of the prophecy you are here to fulfill and play your role and whatever that looks like with the grand unfolding of the prophecy okay and there's many prophecies but i'm hearing the 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 overall prophecy like things have to take place okay and one of the things is you have to be with your divine soulmate you have to be with your divine partner because you're you both are meant to shine your light and your energy around the world OK, they didn't want that for you. They wanted you to feel hopeless, stuck, under illusions, feeling discouraged, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you got to constantly fight, your, fight, 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 fight. If you're constantly fighting, you're not resting. OK, where spirit wants you to rest and spirit is saying rest here, rest here with the star. OK, um, like in renewal. OK, 
but your enemies are being eliminated. They tried to eliminate you and now they're being eliminated. <laughs> this is why <laughs> spirit is funny. Cut, clear, delete. Yeah, they getting deleted out of here. Period. These people are gone. <laughs> These people are going like you just going to come up here and just try to come at the collective like that. You won't come at this cosmic warrior for no reason because of what God said is destined for them. OK, you could be someone that's clear audience. OK, you commune with the dead. These people, some of them actually commune with the dead. OK, trying to call the dead on you to curse you. But you're being brought clarity right now. Yeah, this is like, wow. Look, you have ascended. Yes. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, y'all. Y'all know I'm a sucker for love. Y'all know I'm a sucker for love. Okay. Look, you have ascended. So I'm speaking to somebody who, who is ascending, who has spirit is acknowledging you have ascended and you're still ascending. You're ascending to newer heights. Okay. New, new heights. Okay. This is a part of a prophecy, y'all. This is part of a prophecy. They did not want this. Will you marry me? Come out. You are coming into union with your divine soulmate that you're meant to in this lifetime. Nothing will stop you. Write in the comments. I am coming into union with my divine partner, with my divine soulmate, okay? Because nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop y'all. Nothing can stop you guys. They wanted you, to, they wanted you to be in this place of like, like really bound to karmics. They're panicking because they see that nothing they, they've done is working, Somehow you're still ascending. Somehow this prophecy is still playing out. Okay. Them death spells didn't work. Ooh. Them death spells didn't work. Where is it at? Oh, I didn't even come out, but I'm seeing it. Okay, these curses didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, y'all. So they're panicking because they want to know what is what's with your DNA. How are you transmuting this energy? How are you alchemizing this energy? Yeah, somebody definitely is... Y'all, 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 you see it. Some of you, some of you, you guys went to a psychic, a tarot reader, somebody that considered themselves a, a, a healer or a spiritualist. This person was over here betraying you. Wow, you can consider this person a friend or a mother figure for some of you I'm hearing or they try to insert themselves I'm hearing as a mother figure in your life. This person was moving against you, was plotting and moving against you. You did not see this. You did not see this, that this person was really moving against you like this. Because they're part of this secret covenant and they want to know, like, you're out of this world. UFO, you have alien DNA. You have UFO here in your DNA. Like, you have ancient galactic DNA. Wow. Holy Spirit, angels and guys, what other message? Can't. Look, what do we have? Look, we have Matrix. Somebody wanted you in a cycle over and over and over again. This is where that devil energy is coming from. Somebody wanted you in this devil energy. Someone wanted you bound. This, this spiritualist, this secret, secret covenant, they wanted you bound. I'm hearing that person wanted you bound to them. Okay. Um, they wanted to control you, I'm hearing. They wanted to control your finances. You have coin increase here. Listen, I have no life, so I'm obsessed with your stalker. So this spiritualist is literally obsessed. This is sick. Someone is definitely over here abusing their magic, abusing their gifts that God has given them, the divination. They are abusing it. Okay, a lot of them I'm hearing has been stripped already of such gifts, but definitely going to other people, still pursuing you. I'm hearing still pursuing you, okay, because they're obsessed can't make it up because this person is jealous of your power. 
They're jealous of your power. So this is why they was over here betraying you because they're jealous of you. And they was over here looking into your story. Okay. We have altar, ancestor. There is power in prayer. Psalms 25. Okay. So some of you go, uh, read that. Read that scripture. Okay. That's going to help you. You're going to feel something as you read that spirit saying. You're going to feel spirit get even closer. I'm hearing like hugging you. Some of you really need to read that. Okay. Okay, your ancestors, some of you need to set up an ancestor altar. When it comes to that, the simplest thing is a glass of water. Yes, it must be in a glass. Glass is a conductor for spirit, okay? So a glass of water and a white candle. You could set that up in a corner or somewhere in a home where, you know, it's not in a bedroom and it's not somewhere where you can honor that for be for your ancestors i'm hearing for some of you are, that are interested and want to know how to honor your ancestors or to start an ancestor altar i'm hearing that's the easiest way to start a glass of water and a white candle in the corner you could leave a piece of fruit okay you could put a plate down for them and offer you know some of your meal your meals as you eat they eat okay um but your ancestors are definitely Oh, your ancestors is definitely not having it. Your ancestors is not having it. Okay. Somebody wanted to control your crown. Look, somebody wanted to control your crown and behind it was I put a spell on you. So this fake ass spiritualist and it fell right on it. This fake ass spiritualist. Okay. Wanted to put a spell on you. Okay. Not wanting to. They did put a spell on you because they were jealous of your power Jealous of your DNA. Okay, jealous of your prophecy. Of the love that you're supposed to, destined to have, to be in, that's yours, that's your birthright. This coin that you're destined to have and be in because this is your birthright. <laughs> like, wow. They wanted you to hold yourself back. They definitely wanted you to hold yourself back. Look, I can't, as I'm... So it wanted to show itself, okay? Yeah, stop playing. Literally, as I'm about to shuffle and cut, I, I saw it. I can't. <laughs> I can't, though, because spirit is coming through loud and clear, okay? They wanted you to hold yourself back, but you're not doing that. Like, you're not doing that, and that's why they're panicking. You're showing up as the empress, okay? While this person is showing, showing up as a spiritual plant, this person is an op. You got an op. You got a fake. <laughs> you got a spiritualist that's over here being an op. Okay? They're being an op. They're moving against you. Because of what's destined for you. Okay? What's destined for you. This this spiritualist is a part of this, this secret covenant, y'all. You see it. You see it. Moving against you. Spiritual plant to intercept light workers to intercept like they are really the agents of the devil. They are shapeshifters like no other. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. It's like, yes, this is sick. Uh, collections like so they, they collect. It's like they collect the energy of star star seeds. And again, the chosen ones. This is like, uh, uh, see, they wanted to affect, <laughs> they wanted to affect your prosperity, yo. They wanted to affect your prosperity. They wanted you to look crazy and they watching you. They watching you online. This fake spiritualist is watching you online. This secret covenant is watching you via online. You, I'm hearing you, you do, you do something online. You have to, you must do something online. Cut, clear, and delete here like a computer. You're doing something online where these people are watching you. Okay, these people are watching you. And they want to know, they want to, wow. Woo, child. They want to know how you still glowing up. Things is falling around me, okay? Trying to fall out my hands. Spirit trying to rip these messages out, okay? There's always light at the end of the tunnel. So this is your energy. This is why, again, you have a very unbreakable soul. I don't know if that card came out, but I'm hearing it in my head, okay? Look, 
they wanted you to not love yourself unconditionally. They wanted you to be bound to this devil energy, these karmics. Okay. Look, spirit was reminding you to get some rest. Just the rest. And this is your time of rest. You're not at you spirit is fighting your battles and wars. And spirit is saying, I've always been fighting your battles and wars. I've always been fighting your battles and wars, but you needed to experience and go through what you needed to experience to elevate, to grow, to expand, to come back to self and realize self-worth, okay, in the knowingness of who you are. Spirit is really coming through right now, y'all. You're loving yourself. These people, look, have done blood rituals to move against you. This fake spiritualist, the secret covenant. Look, monitoring you. Again, watching you via online here. Okay? Watching your movement. Watching what you're doing. Watching your coin increase. Watching you glow up. Watching you become this star. Okay? Watching you shine your light as the sun that you are. Watching your divine partner, you and your divine partner coming in. It's triggering as hell to these people. That you're receiving all your heart's desires. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is including with your love life. With your love life. Okay? These people are sick and mad. Holy Spirit, let's get a few. Come on, get two more, Okay? Listen, and two more came out. Look, ownership means owning your shit, accountability, okay? So you're somebody very accountable. You're very accountable with how you got into situations, why you got into situations, how can you do better, how, you know, you meet yourself with grace. You meet the person that you you have the experience with, with grace, um, with the eyes of God, okay? You look at yourself and the others that might have even caused you harm through the eyes of God because you understand that the growth was meant to happen. There was There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's something that you needed to experience for whatever reason that was for your benefit, okay? And this is why you have ascended here. This is why this energy here because the only way you ascend is if you own your shit. Those that refuse to own and be accountable for where they are, 32, 32 was on the clock, Okay? They they miss these blessings. They miss these opportunities. It says losing, losing you was the worst mistake of my life. Okay, so somebody definitely felt feels like losing you. Look, I'm trying to possess your energy. So you got this fake spiritualist here, this spiritual plant here that's triggered by your energy. That's trying to possess your energy the secret covenant here they want your light you showed up as the sun and the star they want your light you radiate ever so bright okay i split the deck and look so i am speaking to somebody that you are and spirit said <laughs> right behind that i can't make this up and right behind that can't make this up yo I cannot. We're going to take this into the extended, okay? Because Spirit says, yes, some of you are meant to be celebrities, okay? Meant to be global, okay? Traveling around the world, shining your light as the star that you are, as the sun you are. Spirit says, yes, this is your loud confirmation. You are getting your loud confirmation here with Moments with Mo, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. Spirit says, keep doing what you're doing, which is winning, which is choosing yourself, alchemizing the bullshit because you have people that are just going to keep coming after you because of your light okay these people literally just literally told on themselves okay but this spiritual plant says i'm up i have no life so i'm obsessed with yours i'm stalking you i'm watching you i'm worrying about you okay i'm i want to see what you're doing how you're doing you cut me off you cut clear deleted me out your life Okay, what's going on? I feel like I've been X'd out of your life. Some of them are getting X'd out of your life. Some of them really permanently is getting X'd up on out of here. Because your ancestors not having it. Spirit's not having it. Okay? And yes, these people are moving against you because, again, you're here to fulfill a prophecy. You're meant to be online. Okay? You're meant to shine. 
okay, as this story. Your wish fulfillment, receiving all your heart's desires. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, collective, if you enjoyed this reading and if you resonate with this read please let me know give me a thumbs up and also write down in the comments if this is your situation or you're connected to this in some way somehow uh let i want to know because this is you're you're just know that you you're blessed you have done a lot of work my love you have done a lot of work i'm very proud of you your spirit guys are very proud of you and they're about to blow your mind when it comes to all your wish fulfillments, your your desires, Spirit says, yes, 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 yes. You could just start checking them off because over the next few weeks, I'm hearing to the next few weeks to months, I'm hearing Spirit is going to be showing you how much they've been riding for you and lining things up in, in, in order for you. Okay. So if this is where we part, I thank you. Okay. I do encourage you to hit the like button and the subscribe and notification bell if you are new and also to share this out because you never know who needs it because it's not just about you or me. It's about we. Okay. And yes, we've been hurt in the past. We have been disappointed, but Spirit says that our hearts are pure and we deserve love. Okay. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. You held that view and now you you kept your heart open and you're receiving all your heart's desires when it comes to love, your love life, prosperity, like status. And you you just, you you that boy, you that girl, y'all, listen, collective, we here, my cosmic warriors, I'm so proud of you. And this is where we part until next time. Peace.